Hello everyone. Welcome back to Pixel Village and I'm Radha Krishnan. This video is going to be slightly different from the kind of videos that we've been doing all this while. Of course it's going to be about photography, but the setting is a little different. Today is the famous day of Holi in India, the festival of colors. And as you can see, I am dressed, getting ready to get, you know, drenched in color, one. And a bunch of people in the backdrop are priming up to get drenched in color again. So we're going to go into the middle of that and do a set of uh, pictures and talk about it. And before that, I'd like to tell you that I started my photography as a wedding photographer way back in the mid 80s. Well, during those days, uh, wedding photography, at least this part of the world, used to be very different. One camera, one lens. If you are a rich photographer, yes, a couple more lenses, but one camera mounted flash. And that's all that they would use to cover the event. The camera mounted flash firing flat onto the face of the subject was the norm in those days. Anyone trying to uh, do a little bit of experimentation during wedding will have to be doing that purely on their own risk. I've tried that a couple of times and failed miserably in convincing the client that look, this is probably another way of seeing it. A group of people who call themselves the Strobus came subsequently and uh, really revolutionized the way the strobes or the camera mounted flashes were used on camera and off camera and, and it became a new way of creating interesting images using flashes. The scenario changed again drastically when this company which started as a Kickstarter project in 2013 introduced their first set of products in 2014. Yes, I'm talking about mag mode. I'm not talking about the original mag mode. I'm talking about their latest offering, the mag box. This is the 24 octa. Octa, of course, means an octagonal softbox. And as the name suggests, there are no clips and clamps and Velcros in it. Everything is magnetic, including the diffuser that they use, the whole assembly of uh, the mag box, the mag ring, and the clamp. Everything is revolutionary. And this mag box is not only made to look good, they are also made to last. What we are trying to do is to, like I said in the beginning, we're going to go into the middle of the holy celebration we're going to see if we can pull out a couple of people who are, you know, got colors all over their face, preferably group of people, individuals, interesting faces. I'm going to take some portraits using this. And uh, what I'm going to do today is, uh, can you pass the uh, uh, flash, please? I'm going to use two AD 200s. Of course, it is already set up uh, with the mag grip on it. Fixing the flash uh, on the softbox is very easy. Uh, all you have to do is to open this up and uh, flash, it goes in straight, okay? You lock it in place and it's safe. If you want to add one more flash, there is one more slot here. Take the second flash and add it here. And you're ready to go. If you are using a speed light instead of uh, the 8200s, the installation is exactly the same. Speed light goes in exactly like this. But in case if you are using other flashes from uh, Godox or Profoto, for example, the 8600 Pro, the 400 Pro, etc., or the Profoto B1 and uh, uh, other flashes, then you can get uh, an adapter ring from Mag Mode which will go into the uh, mag ring and you can use those flashes with this. I forgot to show you one piece of interesting, another clever design by MagMod called the Mag Shoe. Uh, they use this Mag Shoe to hold the whole setup up. So the mag ring goes, slides into the cold shoe and you can lock it in place by flick of one lever and it stays in place and it's ready to hold the whole box in place and uh, you can attach this to a 
stand, a monopod, or you can even hold the whole flash uh, unit along with the soft box up in your hand like this. So let me attach the uh, mag box onto it. Can you hand over that to me, please? Okay, so the whole mag box goes in here like that. Now, look at this pistol grip here. Press that, turn, and leave your hand at wherever you want this whole uh, unit to stay, and it stays there, and you can carry the entire weight of the flash too. So this actually is a very versatile, uh, uh, you know, soft box, and it comes in a very easy to carry box like this. So this thing gets collapsed, it goes inside, the accessories goes through uh, the other side, and it can even carry two flashes inside. So MagMod has kept the photographer in mind at every step of the design. And uh, the camera that we are using today is the Nikon D500 with a small difference. We're using Tamron lenses this time. Tamron's popular SP, DIVC, USD lenses. We have a few uh, which were sent to us by Tamron India. And uh, thank you Tamron for that. Uh, we're going to be using all of them today. This one is a 45 mm, which is an unusual uh, focal length. I've not used it many times. Uh, on a crop sensor camera like the D500, it's going to be around 67 mm. So which means it doesn't have the distortion of a 50 mm, nor doesn't have the compression of an 85 mm. It's something in between, which I think I'm going to like. Let's see. So we're going to go head straight into the activity which is happening behind that building. They have rain dance and uh, a party. I mean, it's full on party. We're going to go right in and take some pictures. So come along with us. That was tons of fun. I'm sure you also like the images. There are a couple of things that uh, we could not show uh, during that 
you know, the whole jamela, so to speak. First, I'd like to show you how two people can share one mag box. Okay. Now, if you look at this setup, two AD 200s are attached to one mag box, right? Now, if I set each one to two different uh, channels, two photographers shooting the same event can fire them individually, still using the same mag box. One can be using a long lens covering like, you know, close-ups or mid shots. The other could be covering a slightly wider shot. So that is a clever usage of this mag box, which I think, you know, if you're working in a team, this would be a, you know, very, very clever way of using uh, the mag box. The other things that uh, I could not show it to you are, uh, one is a diffuser, other is a gel. So let's go to the diffuser first. What we used throughout the shoot was something called an Okta Focus Diffuser. It basically narrows down the beam of light and focus. It diffuses the light, but it narrows the beam down. The other one which is available in the package is a fabric diffuser. Can you bring that uh, across, please? Okay, so it all is packed neatly on the other side of the box, all right? So this is the fabric diffuser. It goes in. This also gets attached using the magnet, which Magmod uh, is known for. Um, the focus diffuser comes off very easily and in goes the fabric diffuser. So this is the fabric diffuser. The other diffuser, which is called the focus diffuser, will give you a narrower beam of light. Okay, the other thing that I could not show it to you was uh, the usage of color correction gels. Okay, now the color correction gel is uh, very neatly packed into the lid. Open the zip and the gels are inside. Now these are color corrected gels, very clearly marked. So quarter CT, full CT, half CT. Basically, this will convert your blue light to white light or make the white light warmer. If you use a quarter CT, it will warm up the light. Half CT will warm up a little more and a full CT will warm up the light completely. So this is equivalent to the 85 series of filters, uh, you know, in the traditional photography. Fixing these uh, color correction gels in the mag box is also very easy. Can you hold on to this, please? Okay. Let me show it to you from the front. Okay. One gel, please. Okay. Imagine this is the filter that you want to use. It goes in straight here. There's a small slot in there. Uh, slide in and stays. But if you are in the middle of action, you don't have to take the diffuser out. There is a small opening here. Open the zip and you can access uh, this part very easily. You can take the filter out and also attach. It all takes only a matter of practice and zip it up and you're ready to use it. One more thing I'd like to show you about the where this packaging is done. If you look at these compartments, these are for the accessories. Of course, these are empty because we are using them. You can use this empty slot to carry your flash this way, or you can carry it this way. Okay. You can carry two or two flashes inside very comfortably. And uh, this is pretty hard. So your flash is, uh, you know, safe inside strong so 
what we are using today is the Magbox uh, Pro Kit. Okay, the Pro Kit uh, is different and there is also a starter kit. Uh, both are priced differently. So, what else? I think we've done uh, almost everything that we could do today with this uh, Magbox. Few we did and few we could not, but we spoke about it. According to me, like all previous Magmod products, even this one is extremely useful and is also built to last. The decision is going to be on price and utility. Now that decision is going to be entirely yours. Bye for now.